Well, I'll give you one guess where I am. I'm here at the lodge. The kids and I are gonna cook some really great recipes to share with you. Glad you joined us. I'm gonna make no-bake s'mores bars. I am all about no-bake recipes these days. This is just a super easy thing you can whip up with whatever you've got in your pantry. So I'm gonna start by melting some butter, about half a stick. And I've got a bag of mini marshmallows. And I'm gonna add about 2 thirds of the bag to the pot. And I'll save the rest to decorate the top of the bars. And I'll just stir it around and start the melting process. You want to see in there, Paige? Oh, marshmallows. OK, I'm going to let those melt. And I've got some graham crackers. And I'm going to break them into pieces. OK, this mixture is almost completely melted. It's so funny when I think about the recipes that I'm making right now because when we started quarantining together, I was getting my pantry organized and my fridge and freezer and planning meals and figuring out what I could make. And now I'm like, I don't want to turn on the oven. I don't want to cook something all day. <laughs> so I've got semi-sweet chocolate chips and I'm gonna add basically the whole container, which is a 12 ounce bag. So you wind up with this kind of marshmallowy, chocolatey butter mixture. And what could possibly be wrong with that? <laughs> so now I have this big mixture of marshmallow and semi-sweet chocolate. So I'm gonna add half of these graham cracker chunks. And this is such a sweet, sweet mixture. So I'm gonna sprinkle in some salt. I mean, I will never argue with the combination of chocolate and salt, especially if some graham crackers are thrown in there. So I have a nine by nine inch square pan and I draped two pieces of wax paper so they kind of hang over and that helps get the bars out when you're finished. I just sprayed it with nonstick spray and then this bizarre mixture just <laughs> comes right out and you just want to spread it out to the edges of the pan. Trust me, this is a miracle. So now I'm going to sprinkle the rest of the graham cracker crumbs over. So then you have some that are part of the chocolate mixture and some that are just kind of sticking up. And you want to break them up just a little bit more. And you get these beautiful kind of shards of graham crackers sticking up. And then more marshmallows. I think that looks good. The candies, I'm glad we have some left after Alex completely went to town on these. My goodness. And then I've got rainbow sprinkles just to put a little happy spin on it. I think every dessert we make during quarantine should have sprinkles. OK, Paigey, look at this. So now all you need is just a little bit of patience. I'm gonna let this set completely and then we'll cut them into squares. Okay, so look at the bars, guys. <laughs> now, one of my two brilliant daughters, Paige, suggested that since there are marshmallows on top, we could torch them. Okay, ready? The thing is with marshmallows, it's kind of fun to burn them, right? Just like you're around a campfire. Okay, so this is why you have it on wax paper. Look at that. Mmm, look guys, look. Look at the little chunks of graham cracker in there. Oh. <laughs> and the marshmallows oh. sticking up. Okay, give me five seconds. I'm gonna get the rest of these on the board. Last one. What a cute little board full of treats. Well, what do you know? Alex is here. Alex is my sweets loving child. I kind of want one with more chocolate on it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll take this one. Oh, boop, boop. Cheers. Cheers, Alex. I'm glad you're home. I went in this. <laughs> They're very rich. <laughs>